Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, you are going to learn about writing equations for parallel and perpendicular lines. Now, suppose that you're given an equation, y equals negative 2x plus 5, and you're told to find a parallel equation that goes through this point, 3, 4. Now, what does that really mean? I'm going to have you visualize what that is. And so let's take a look at those numbers again. There's our equation and our point. And what we have here is this line right here represents y equals negative 2x plus 5. And 3, 4 is a point that's not on that line right there, the red point. And what we're looking for is the equation of the line that is parallel to the first one but goes through that point. So we want to find the equation for that dotted line. So here's how we find the equation. The first thing that we identify is our slope. A slope of a parallel line is always the same. And so since our slope is negative 2 in our first equation, our slope of the parallel line will be negative 2 as well. Now, we're going to use the generic form again of the slope intercept, y equals mx plus b. m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And once we find those two, we will have an equation. So here's how we do it. We put our negative 2 in for the m. Then we're going to take our point, 3, 4, and put 3 in for x and 4 in for y. Like so. We're going to simplify, and then we're going to solve for b. And we get b equals 10. We're going to take that 10, put it back up into that equation that needs the b, and we have our answer, y equals negative 2x plus 10. Not so bad. Let's try another parallel. We have y equals 3x plus 6 and negative 2 minus 1. So our parallel slope is 3 because that's the slope of the first one. Parallel slopes are equal. So we start off with our generic equation again. We put the 3 in for the m. We're going to put our negative 2 and negative 1 in for the x and the y. We're going to simplify and solve for b, and b equals 5. We put that 5 back into the missing b, and we have our answer, y equals 3x plus 5. Now let's look at perpendicular. Let's suppose we have an equation like this and our point, and this line right here represents y equals 3x plus 4. And 6, 2 is somewhere out here. And what we're looking for is the equation of the line that goes through that point, but perpendicular to the first equation. And so we're looking for the equation of that dotted line. OK? And so let's try one. We'll use that same equation in point. Now our perpendicular slope is a little different than parallel. It's the opposite reciprocal, as we learned in another lesson. So the opposite reciprocal of 3 is negative 1 third. So we're going to put that negative 1 third in for our slope m. And then we're going to put our 6 and 2 in for the x and the y. And we're going to simplify and then solve for b and we get b equals 4. We're going to take that b, I'm sorry, take that 4 and put it in for the b up there, and we have our answer. y equals negative 1 third x plus 4. That's our answer. Let's try another perpendicular. We have y equals negative 1 half x plus 9, and our point is 8, 1. So, our perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal of negative 1 half, which is positive 2 over 1, which is positive 2. We are going to put 2 in for the m, and then we're going to put 8 and 1 in for the x and y. We solve, or we simplify first, and then we solve for b, and that's negative 15. We take our negative 15, put it in for the b, and 
there is our answer, y equals 2x minus 15. Now, I want to give you a little reality check, because I know that when I was in school, I would learn something, and then when the test came, that it seemed like it was a lot harder than the ones I was practicing. And so, in all honesty, you're going to come across difficult problems. And the ones that I gave you, the last four problems that I gave you, were pretty easy as far as they turned into whole numbers and the fractions weren't so hard. And so I want you to see what happens on this one. And so here we're going to do a perpendicular um, equation. And so the opposite reciprocal of negative 2 thirds is positive 3 over 2. And so we're going to do our regular method, putting 3 over 2 in for x. Then we're going to put in 7, 4 in for the um, x and y. And now look what happens when I simplify the 3, and, 3 halves times 7. I get a fraction. Now we haven't had that before. And so you're going to need to know how to add and subtract fractions. And when you get your b, it turns out to be negative 13 over 2. I worked it out. You'll have to trust me. All right. Now, we take that negative 13 over 2, we put it in for the b, and there is our answer. y equals 3 over 2x minus 13 over 2. Okay, so just realize that um, that you're going to have to uh, have to do some more difficult problems sometimes on tests and on uh, on electronic assignments as well. Now, how did it feel to learn how to write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines? I hope it wasn't so bad, but I do want to encourage you to uh, use paper when you do this. Don't try to do these in your head at all. Um, use scratch paper to uh, write out all of the problems, especially those tough ones with fractions, or you'll never, uh, you'll never succeed on those. Um, anyway, if you need more help with this topic, I encourage you to rewatch the video and pause it to really grasp the concept. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.